Welcome to Portugal. A dirt location filled with deceiving bumps and crests, bumpy surfaces, dangerous roads and cliffs, and big jumps. So, starting in the alignment tab, you can begin by adding some toe out to the front wheels to aid with cornering, while on the rear wheels some toe in to help with the car's stability, so you won't experience too much uncontrollable oversteer. As I mentioned in the ultimate setup guide video, the camber value is influenced mostly by the lateral motion of the car, while on the front wheels another influential factor will be the pivoting motion from left to right. But here on the dirt tracks, the surface grip is significantly lower compared to the asphalt tracks, so the deformation of the tire is really small, which will lead us to small camber values. On to the differentials, setting the driving lock as high as possible will ensure the greatest traction in these conditions. The braking lock on the other hand should be kept at a medium high value to prevent either the left or right wheel from locking up during heavy corner braking, possibly destabilizing the car. But always keep the front braking lock lower than the rear braking lock because a higher value may induce too much understeer. And finally, since we are on low grip conditions here, set the preload to a medium low value to promote oversteer because you want to be able to rotate the car easily from corner entry to corner exit. Damping! As mentioned above, here in Portugal we have to deal with a pretty treacherous terrain, so softening the slow bump will aid you big time. Now, in order to set one of the best times on the leaderboard, you will have to take advantage of a few, let's say, extreme corner cuts. The corner cuts I'm talking about don't really involve cheating. Although, if the game allows it, then it's not really cheating, right? Anyway, these cuts involve big jumps. And how do we deal with big jumps? Well, with stiff fast bump and high bump division, so only the big shocks are taken by the fast bump. Another thing I mentioned in the intro was deceiving bumps and crests. And this location is filled with these things. So this means that you want to soften the rebound as much as possible to ensure maximum contact with the road even when the terrain pushes the car up and tends to lift off the ground. On the braking tab, I was surprised to see how much braking force can be applied without experience too much locking, while also keeping the braking bias more towards the front wheels. This way, playing with the car's center of mass before turns will be extremely easy. Here, I've set the handbrake force a little higher than usual for dirt tracks, because the road is pretty narrow, the U-turns and the square turns are tight, and the roadsides are also dangerous, so you want to be able to rotate the car quick and within a short radius. For this particular stage, set the gears to a rather short ratio because this race has little to no straight segments, so achieving higher speeds is not necessary here. To get an even greater acceleration boost, set the final drive as low as possible, then work your way up until you are satisfied with the power delivery. Now on the springs tab, raising the ride height is a must, because you want to be able to get over those bumps and ditches as safe as possible. The spring rate should be set on a softer side obviously, but not too soft because you want to have a manageable stability and you also don't want to hit a bump stop too many times because that can lead to loss of control. And for the anti-roll bars, also a soft value will do the trick here, so the left and right wheels are allowed to move more independently over the bumps. If you want to learn a few more ways to get faster on this particular track and see where on the leaderboard this setup put me, check the gameplay video here. Also, if you want to be prepared for each upcoming WRC stage, Subscribe and turn on the notification button, because 2 or 3 weeks before each event I will be posting the tuning setup guide for that particular location. Don't forget to leave a like and consider donating via the thanks button if this video helped you a lot to show an even greater support for me and for this channel. Also, let me know what you think in the comment section and where on the leaderboard this setup puts you in. See you on the track, bye bye!